Hey, Fugan, I, I, I just was wondering if, uh, if, if you thought I was going to get any good talismans as a, as a reward for, for, for this hunt? Never! Ever, but, but I worked really hard. Never! You're saying I'm never going to get a good talisman? Disappoint! But I don't want to be disappointed! <laughs> Why are you just laughing? <laughs> Oh, you know that feeling. You get back to Kimura Village. You run up to the merchant, real excited. You ask him, please, reveal the results of my melding. Please, sir. And you see a wall of fresh talismans. Think of the potential of each one as the excitement builds. Are you going to get your dream skills? And you look at them all. <laughs> And you keep looking, and you keep looking, and, and hope fades, and, and dread rises, and you, and you finish looking, and you got nothing, you got garbage, and all you can think about is how I must farm more. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you the best way to farm more. We are talking about revealing 30 or so talismans every 30 to 40 minutes, which is pretty good. Essentially, we're aiming to average one talisman per minute played, and I think that's pretty damn good. So how doth it happen? Well, of course, step one is we need to farm most efficiently the most efficient materials for melding, which is Nawa, our goddess of thunder. So her bits and bobs, her nails and teeth, her skins and egg sac, yes, are worth at minimum 65 all the way up to 100 from her rare drop orb. Which means on average to do one full five talisman mystery meld, which is where it's going to be for, well, most useful talisman farming, we need an average of 10 of her parts. Now, fortunately, Nawa herself is a relatively easy fight, especially for one of the game's only two Elder Dragons and, you know, final boss, but that's chiefly because she's more of a spectacle surrounded by siege weaponry that will do most of the damage for us. My Nawa kills are, on average, about 12 to 13 minutes currently, so that's kind of the region we're looking at, and in terms of actually killing her, well, you just want to essentially focus those siege weapons and siege weapons and siege weapons. They really do a lot and once you get used to her patterns and when the opportunities are there, well, you will also get very good at killing her very quickly. She is definitely much faster and easier to farm than essentially every other high tier monster in the game and also drops more parts and also those parts are worth more. She is the premium location for farming talismans. Essentially, this right here is Rise's endgame. So, before we just jump right in and start killing her then, let's employ our tips and tricks to make this as fast as possible. Number one, we want to wear three pieces of the medium armor set, or the male equivalent, and this will give us rank three good luck, which will give us increased quest rewards, which means more parts, which means more melds faster. And fortunately, because it's now uh, the fact that these pieces aren't that good in terms of pure killing power don't really matter because most of the work is done by the siege equipment, so you can be plenty powerful when it comes down to your weapon during the downs that you will get on her. Stage two then is to make sure you are bringing two palicos. Sorry, palamute. <laughs> because you want them to be gathering palicos. Chiefly, you want to with the pilfer ability, which means they do both need to be level 20, but that isn't the hardest thing in the world to meet, especially if you are chain farming now. So get your little cat bots online, and you are ready to head to the hunt. Now, in terms of Dango, occasionally you will get a daily choice that offers an extra effect equivalent to Great Luck, which gives you a chance for more quest rewards, but it's incredibly rare and not something you're going to want to rely on. So once you've got those two going, head to your Nawa, absolutely, completely, 
utterly destroy her, making sure to pick up every single shiny that drops, but more specifically during the fight, make sure to break as many parts as you can. The cannons, when you have an opportunity to use them, are great for that, but each time that you get her down, make sure you break the belly, go through each arm, go and break her face, try and break her tail, which will sever it and give you an extra carve, which means more melding, essentially completely mutilate this dragon! Which sounds really, it's really mean when I have to spell it out like this, but this is what we're here for, maximizing parts. And again, because of the siege weapon recarrying the, uh, well, weight here, you can spend your time focusing on those parts. Which, yes, means if you can fit Part Breaker into your set, you definitely should, as that is where it's at. So, quest rewards then. Because of my great luck, my target rewards are near doubled. Already there, there is 10 parts, which is already enough for a full meld. But then we have our broken parts, which is another 4, and then the palicos, which are of course key, for another 4. So in this one hunt, we have essentially got 2 melds worth of items. A little bit shy of that, but definitely in that region, and this was kind of an average run. So what we're then going to do is set a meld going and then hop back in and do another Nawa in exactly the same way. This then will give us an average of 45-ish parts, which will then let us set another four melds going. And this is very, very satisfying when that's the case. But now we don't just want to keep farming Nawa because that will ironically slow us down because we'll start having more parts than we know what to do with and taking 13, 14 minutes to kill her to reveal talismans is a relatively long time. So we're going to bully some low rank Izuchi. Now truthfully, this can be any given low rank hunt as long as it's something you can do quickly. I start to finish a low rank Izuchi in about two and a half minutes so it works well for me but you know your results may vary just choose a very easy low rank low star quest and as a bonus reward you can sell all the parts you get for this for a little bit of zenny if that at all matters to you. So absolutely decimate the local Izuchi population and then it's time to head to the melder having had seen that glorious number increase. Yes! And there we have it. 25 charms, as I didn't reveal my initial set of five from after the second hour just to give me that extra little bit of hope. Now, of course, every single one of them was absolutely awful, but the method is there. So to highlight it in a very easy to flow state. Get to gathering palicos with pilfer. Wear three piece great look, fit as much part breaker as you can. Go kill Nawa, break all of the parts, come back, start a meld going. Go kill a second Nawa with the same setup and repeat, then start as many melds going as you can from the parts you have received. If there is four melds now going, go kill four low rank great Azuchi, come back, reveal all your melds, have a look, have a cry, and then repeat. And that, thus far, obviously increased by how fast you do the quests and kill the monsters, but on average that is about one talisman per minute of playing, and that is as fast as it gets, at least at the moment. So, with that in mind then, well, good luck! I hope that you do indeed get that perfect one that you desire, and that it makes your set sing! But until next time, let me know how you guys are getting on. Please, make me jealous with some ridiculous talisman. I, I, I'm, I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. And make sure to keep an eye out on the channel for more awesome right stuff. And until then, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.